Hey everybody, the Patch and Switch Consultancy back with you for another unofficial end user guide to Microsoft Ignite. And we have breaking news today. <laughs> Everything is open, the site is open, the schedule is published, the tools are live. I'm already building my schedule and filling it up with all sorts of really good goodness inside of my schedule. Wait, Looking hang for... on, hang on. Stop, stop, what? stop. I, I've, got, I've, got to, I've got to pause you here. What? You've jumped right to schedule building and you missed a very, very important thing, which is filling out your profile. You mean like your job title and your who you work for and stuff? Absolutely. So when you registered, you gave us very limited information. Yeah. We have the ability now to do attendee networking. That means one-on-one -on -one meetings with other attendees and, and, and chat. Really simple. You just head on over to mygnite.microsoft.com, go to your profile and fill out the form. So first start with name and company and so on and so forth. Then we have more profiling information about what industry you're in, mm -hmm. uh, what technologies you're interested in. And then finally, that third page. Super critical. This is where we have all of the opt-ins. This is where opt-in to attending networking exists or opt-out if you'd like. This is where you can choose to share your schedule. Then you can do what you're talking about with Schedule Builder. So with Schedule Builder, really simple stuff. You got a good set of filters to search for speaker, technology type, time slot, all that sort of things. Uh, put those in your schedule. Your little fly out on the right-hand side with my event schedule shows you what's there, including time gaps. But what's really important here is pay close attention. Some sessions, like the Table Talks, as an example, have limited seating capacity because they are Teams live meetings. Live meetings have a cap of about 300 people because it's more intimate, and live events have the cap of like 10,000 or something like that. So they're significantly larger and can't fill up. Make sure you pay attention, and also, please, be kind. If you're not going to take the spot, don't just book it because it looks cool. Give it to somebody else. Remember, you get none of this experience unless you're fully registered attendee of Microsoft Ignite. So head over to myignite.microsoft.com and get registered. And for more tips and tricks from us, the Patch and Switch Consultancy, head on over to our unofficial end user guide for Microsoft Ignite located below. See you next time.